Hello, my soccer universe. I thought I'll do something different uh, to hold you over. I mean, I can show you jerseys after jersey after jersey, but you know, after all, we have a corona break and I can tell you all the old games that you can watch. But maybe you like me, you don't necessarily need to watch old games, but you rather do something else. Um, one thing for sure that I love to do is reading. Uh, I have to say, maybe I don't have as much time that as I would wish uh, to read at the moment, you know, might get there, it might get there, but there have been many soccer books that I've been reading that I enjoyed and I want to recommend those to you. And the first one is The Italian Job by none other than Gianluca Vialli and Gabriele Margotti. Um, I have to say this is one of the first English soccer, in, uh, English soccer books that I've read and it was an thoroughly enjoyable read absolutely uh, that really got me hooked into uh, you know reading more about the game not only the stories and biography but also thinking a little bit more about the game it is I'm not saying there's statistic analysis in there but there's a lot of aspects like uh, training general footballing culture a little bit of tactics what do the good coaches do what do the bad uh, and so on in there that makes it a very very enjoyable read in addition to um, kind of giving you a background on Gianluca Vialli it's not a biography but uh, it's more or less his thesis when he did his coaching license in Coverciano that he and Gabriele Margotti turned into a really good book it was nominated I think for sports book of the year um, in 2006, William Hill sports book uh, of uh, 2006 and kind of its goal is to compare uh, Italian culture to English football and what's the difference and I have to say this was written in 2006 uh, it's very much colored by Vialis own personal experience so I think the comparison between um, English football and Italian culture is more in the 90s rooted uh, but it's still very interesting you know when the influx came and highly recommended read and I just want to give you a little passage to show you uh, the type of writing uh, it's in the beginning, it's called Veronica, Mary and me, a footballing love triangle. Football is love and passion, like that for a woman. Then, skipping over, if I had to reduce my feelings for the game in either nation, Italy and England, uh, to how I might feel about a woman, I would describe two very different women, Mary and Veronica. By the time you finish reading this book, you'll know which is Mary and which is Veronica. By the time you're hearing this, you maybe already know. Mary is faithful, bubbly, comforting. She may not be natural beauty, but when you're with her, she gives you everything she has and makes you feel special. Sometimes you think it might be nice if she took more pride in her appearance, maybe she could spend a few more hours in the gym. Perhaps she could dress elegantly instead of in high street jeans and top. And perhaps a touch of makeup wouldn't go amiss. When you argue, which happens even in the best relationships, it's over quickly and she's always eager to forgive and forget. She only remembers the good times and never casts up past events to use against you. Your intimacy with her is usually brief but intense. She never holds back and uses every ounce of her body to please you. You leave in the morning and you might not see her for several days. You don't hear from her and frankly you don't mind because you don't often think about her or rather you don't think about the last time you wish you were with her but you might fantasize about your next meeting. Mary is innocent and direct. She tells you exactly what she's thinking. She's no she has no ulterior motives. She's the girl next door, the one you know you can always return to and be welcomed with open arms. The one who will always satisfy you at least for a short while. Veronica is passionate, vain and envious. She's dropped that gorgeous and she knows it. In fact, she uses her beauty to intoxicate and manipulate. She gives you just enough to keep you coming back, but she preys on your insecurity, uh, messing with your mind. She is obsessed with detail, impeccably made up and elegantly dressed, always glamorous and enticing, but the relationship is never easy. She disappoints you, she ignores you, she cheats on you, and when you're with her, you're rarely happy, yet you always go back. And you can't be with her for just a few hours, you remain captive, minutes turning to hours, hours to days. You can't get away, each time, just before you see her again, you're torn, every neuron in your brain trapped in a mental civil war. On the other hand, you know exactly what will happen, also she'll mistreat you humiliate you, let you go down again. But on the other hand, you have to go back to her. 
By the time you finally see her, you're an empty shell, drained by the agony and mental effort you've put yourself through and the anticipation of your liaison. And when it's over, you simply can't leave, especially if you've had a row. She analyzed everything that was said and done in excruciating detail, resurrecting long-forgotten suspicions. She never forgets and rarely forgives. Veronica is moody, irritable and always ready to deceive. In your rare moments of clarity, you consider ending a relationship, freeing yourself from those unhealthy and suffocating bonds. But you always go back. You can't help yourself. Really, really good book. If you're like me, interested in uh, culture and have also a passing interest for the Premier League, that might be for you. Really, really, really re recommend this one. So this is my first book recommendation for you. Let me know if you have any books. I will show you maybe once or twice a week. Give you other books um, that I can recommend. I have a decent collection, I would say. Uh, drop a comment below if you've read this book and what you think about it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a very good day. Bye.